In this video, we'll be covering how to use the PIR sensor, um, also called a motion detector. And so if I uh, press start simulation here, you'll see that when I select this component, um, there's this thing that I can use to simulate how it works. So right now, when I have uh, uh, something moving in front of my sensor, it detects it. And as a result, my circuit, what it does is it turns on the LED when it senses motion. So I'm going to hit stop here and to get started um, uh, at this point of the series, you should be more familiar with how to use Tinkercad. So just pause this video, uh, go into circuits, create a new circuit and replicate what you see here. So at this point, you should have your circuit built and it should look identical to mine. Go ahead and click on code and we're going to talk about how to program this so that it functions the way we want it to. So again, our goal is to make this LED turn on. So this output device turn on when this motion sensor, this input senses motion. So we're gonna start by going to this category called variables and we'll click on create variable. And then we're gonna call this PIR state. And hopefully this looks a little familiar because in the past we've used variables called button state. So we just need to have a variable that contains, remember a variable is kind of like a box, and that box contains the status or the state of our input device. So we're gonna say um, set our PIR state to, and then instead of a number, we want to uh, detect if there's motion. So you see how this is an oval here? Uh, we can use any oval shape here. So if I go to input, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, set pin state to um, digital read. So read digital pin. And then we're going to select the pin that it's connected to. So while you guys were uh, building the circuit, hopefully you realize that this pin right here, this leg of the uh, component, the um, PIR component, um, goes to power. So that's just voltage. This one is ground, right? And then this one is going to be connected to the Arduino at pin 4, right? So we want to set our uh, PIR state to read digital pin 4. Okay, so whatever it's detecting here, either something or nothing, it's going to be sent to pin 4. And then pin 4 is going to assign it to PIR state as to what it is, either 1 or 0, or high or low. Remember, digital is um, one or the other. And so now once we've established our variable and we told that variable to um, be equal to reading the status of our um, uh, PIR sensor, we can now go to control and then use an if then else statement, also known just as an if else statement. Uh, we say if then because if something is true, then something happens. Else happens only if the if is false. So we want to say now that if something is true, and you can see a diamond shaped um, object here uh, for us to use. So we're going to go to math and we can see that there's a shape that we're looking for that looks similar right here. And we'll just drag that in. And then this is an oval shape here. So we want to say that if our PIR state, so we'll go back to variables and we'll choose PIR state is equal to one to indicate that there is movement then we want to turn on this led so we'll go to our output and then we'll use this one right here set pin so that we can choose a specific pin we can see that this led is connected to ground and then the positive leg is connected to a specific pin 12 so we'll set pin 12 to be high which again is on Otherwise, right, so if this is false, meaning that um, it did not sense a 1, meaning there's nothing being passed by our motion sensor, we would turn pin 12 off. So we'll drag this one in again. We'll set the pin to 12, and then we'll set this value to low. So it turns off the LED if there is no uh, movement. So then I'll press Start Simulation, and I'll click on Code here to nest that away. And then I can test it. So if I click on this PIR sensor and I move it, whenever it senses movement, it turns on my LED. 
and then when um, there is no movement, it turns off my LED.